I want a screenshot. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, I mean, I I don't even know what I'm supposed to say. I mean, they they're responding. They're trying to do something good, but like, let's be honest, it's like the just ridiculous. I think it's a Wasim D for the prime. They have Don James for 21 months. Yeah. I mean, I, I I don't know what you want me to say. Did they email about it? No, I didn't get an email or anything about it. So I I don't know. Yeah, I I don't know. What's its value? Who knows? Who knows? Who cares? Although, I mean, with Bitcoin, with Bitcoin up where it is right now, I mean, at 30, 30,200, 30, I mean, you never know if that's going to suddenly that, that that's going to come back and be a thing. I would hope not, but you never know. So anyway. So we're on six and a half out of seven. Bordnik, Gogiev, Enjol, and Mechanic also. They're pretty standard stuff so far. Sell it and give the proceeds to children with cancer. That's not too different from something I wanted to do, um, where, like, basically, I, apparently I don't have enough hair, but, like, if I, if I grew my hair out, I would actually probably, like, I'd, I'd go bald if it could help, like, make wigs and do things like that, but, yeah. You know. How do they give it to you? I haven't gotten anything, you guys, so I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to get the trophy. I haven't gotten an email or anything, so it, your guess is as good as mine. Yeah. Is that what Magnus is doing with his hair? I don't know, you guys. Magnus is playing, um, it's an attachment on an email, right? Yeah. <laughs> getting email to, getting email to JPEG. <laughs> yeah, don't ask me. Thank you so much for Blueprints for a 32. Thank you to Levy G. Rosman will be a GM. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, let's move on with the music. Where were we? Um, okay. Actually, no, here's a good song. For round number eight, which will start soon. Black is winning here with bishop f6, I think. Okay, now he's going to get bishop c1 and win. Bishop c1. This might be winning two, king c3, king c5. Ocean man. Bishop B2. Bishop C. Wow, it's still not easy to win this. This might be a draw. Knight takes B3 as a draw, but. Bishop A3? That's <laughs> a draw by repetition. Okay. Let's move on. Round number eight coming up here. Prize pool for what? I don't know what prize pool you're talking about. Okay, here we go. Round, num round number eight. Uh, I have Bortnik. Now, I could play e4, be aggressive. I'm, I'm just going to be, like, very slow and very methodical. Um, let's play c4. Maybe there's an ALO for the prime. Yeah, I'm going to keep it very slow here. Something, like, very standard. You can play e5 and play the English. Okay, it goes d6. Okay, I should play d4, of course. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go. I'm just going to play one of my... Oh, uh, he's going to play this one. Okay, so... I'm playing IPD7. I'm going to play Queen C2. This is an old line. Very, very old line with Queen C2. Haven't played this. C5 is... Wait, C5 is definitely not the move here. I'm curious to see what happens. Like, this might not be the best move taking, but I'm actually really curious to see because I know this is not right. I don't know how not right this is, but this is definitely the C5 idea is not right. I can play queen d2 and put pressure on the pawn. I can also just go b3. I think I kind of like knight a4 here just to stop knight c5. And then maybe b3, bishop a3. Like, it's hard to judge what's going on. But it seems like it's playable. I mean, I know what Bornick has done is not right. That much is clear. Ah, he wants to go knight f8. Okay, but so what? I have c5 also. It was bishop f8. So I play c5 here. It's it's decent. What's his move though? I'm actually confused. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what I'm doing either, kind of. I think I'll just go here and stack. Do you want knight b I I actually I'm confused by what Bornick's doing, but I'm also not sure what I'm doing here either, so we'll see. I want to line up the double stack. Uh, does he want knight e4 and d5, but I just take take. Yeah, maybe his idea is some tricky knight e4, but it doesn't look right. I'll, I'll pre-move in case he does, because it's the only move. 
Now, again, I have rook d1, which looks right. Knight e4, queen e4 takes, takes. I don't know, it looks right, so I'll pre move again. Again, I had c5, which was actually just very strong. c5 might have just been winning. No, probably not winning, but it was very good. c5 was actually just winning last move. Who has the most NFT trophies? That would be Magnus Carlsen. I mean, I, I guess he's probably going to take, so I'll pre-move it. Oh, he plays C5 instead. Okay, so let's go knight here. I've got knight jumps. This looks really bad. Really bad for black now. Okay, go like... Ah, but I can't stop the knight from getting in. Oh... No, I guess I have to do this. This is not what I wanted to do, but it's still good. But mm. yeah, it's still quite good actually. But but I just okay. Can I move the rook to e two? I mean, he has c four somewhere, but I'm not worried. Night before, I guess I go queen c four. I'm not super enthused by my position, but I still should be fine here. Yeah, I've I've misplayed this. I was actually just winning with the other line. I'm trying to figure out if they're tricks, though. I mean, I, I think I kind of have to take this much is clear. This much is forced. Now, I can go g4, g5, which is kind of interesting. Oh, wait, no, g4 hangs rook c3. That would be, oh, yeah, yeah, that would be an epic fail. So let's just go here, then. I was about to play g4 and lose the game to rook c3. <sighs> Maybe I should have played rook b1 first. I still should be okay, but... It's going to be a little bit dicey now. I guess I'll go rook b1. He's going to play knight b4, I assume. I'm taking go like knight e1, knight d3. I'm not super thrilled by the position, but I think it's fine. Although I also feel like I'm very capable of making a huge blunder at any, on any turn either as well. Go here. He's going to take. I'm going to take. I'm, why is he thinking, actually? g4, g5, maybe? Probably just a draw here, if I had to guess. Oh, he plays knight before, which is interesting. So, of course, I take. He takes, which is also interesting. Not the move I expected either. Um, we'll just go rook a6. g3 and king g2, maybe. Play a3 to kick the rook now. Rook c4. Hmm. Still not a whole lot going on here. Guess I'll play h5. Try to be trickier. Because if he takes, I get knight h4, knight f5. If he goes g5, I have knight h2, knight g4. Wait, this looks slightly wrong. Wait, this feels slightly wrong. Oh, whatever. Let's just go back. Trying to tr get tricky here, like. H6 also is a move. I'm going to play it. It's a little bit risky, but I think it's okay. I want to go rook h8 and take. I might have just blundered too. I did. If I get rook h8, it's very tricky, though. Yeah, it has this. Now I can take and fork him. He actually blundered. I, I might win now. I think I will win. Yeah, he blundered. I don't want to blunder, though, so... Go here. We're not a win here. Oh, right, let's go here. Oh, I blundered again. What the heck?
Yeah, I messed this up again. Of course, I blundered again, obviously. There we go. I got him. Did I just blunder? Yeah, now I just win. There we go. Another win. All right, there we go. We got the big dub. We moved to seven and a half out of eight. Thank you, Kaiser Soze for the four. Kraken for the six. Thank you, Ukarch for the two. And Uu Blunder Knight for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So seven and a half out of eight. Another big win, of course. Um, it's all good. Yeah. So we get another big dub. Big shout out to everybody who's watching. 20K of you on this fine Tuesday afternoon. Seven and a half out of eight. Really, really rolling, rolling along so far. Um, who's the hardest opponent to face? It's obviously always going to be Magnus Carlsen. Um, so, yeah. Dude had a free night. No, he couldn't take the night. I think there's a powder hound for the 23 months. I think there's a powder hound. Appreciate it. So, okay. looks like this is going to be a draw as well. Oh, the former world chess champion. Yeah, exactly. The former world chess champion. I think there's a pot pie dude for the 48 months. I think there's a pot pie dude for the um, four months. 558 players. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of people playing today. It's crazy. Um, we we have, there are 558 players in Title II. And normally, at least in recent times, maybe I'm thinking a couple months back, it was like 300 was a good number, a little over 300. So to get 550 is just wild. It's bananas. Let's put it that way. I think there's a Chuck for the 31 months. Why on Twitch? Because you guys, I stream on Twitch as well. Um, you might have read the headlines and thought that I was never going to stream on Twitch again. That's not the reality, you guys. Um, so, yep, we're on both. Okay, game ends in a draw. I, that should be the last game, I assume, of the round. But let's see. Thanks so much to Ja Real for the 21 months. Thanks so much to Ja Real. More people watching Title II than the World Championship are saying, I mean, what can we say, you guys? That's where it's at. It's all about online chess. It's all about what is sexy. And... Um, what, what can we say? The World Championship just isn't sexy. If there's no Magnus Carlsen, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Simple reality. Yeah. So is that it? Let's, okay, all the games are over. We're on our break, you guys. Second bring of the event, and I'll be right back in one second.
Welcome back, everyone. We are back. Um, thank you so much to Friend TV for the Prime Leader, Doken Bay for the two months. Appreciate it. Um, all right, so yeah, we're back, you guys. Once again, I will add, however, if you if you are wondering about the VODs and everything, we're doing the exact same thing that we've always done on Kick. It's not gambling or anything else like that, you guys. So if you don't, if you're really resistant to going on Kick, you can still see some of the VODs on our second YouTube channel, more GM Hikaru. I will point that out. So um, uh, let me just show it so you guys see it. One second. Yeah, so those of you guys who are wondering, we of course have our um uh which scene should I show? I guess this is the right one. There we go. So we do of course have our second channel, which is more GM Hikaru. You can of course see like we have Arena Kings, we have um we have one of the VODs as well. So this this is where you can see it if you're absolutely refusing to go over. At any rate, you guys, we're we're back to the chest. So let me change the scene and we'll keep rocking and rolling. Thank you so much to Burt Macklin, FBI, for the 10 months. Thank you so much to Burt Macklin. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah. I just forget kick exists sometimes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where's my gamble? Well, you know, you guys, let, let me open let me open Twitch. Twitch.tv. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just looking, you guys. Hmm. Hmm. Let me stop the music for a second. This is, um... Hmm. This looks like a Twitch Come channel, on. doesn't it? Huh. No gamble on Twitch, huh? Food is done, I'm just gonna pee. No, no gamble on Twitch, am I right? Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> Give me a break. Give me a break. Let's get back to chess. Um, so for anybody who wants to start, start up with that stuff, yeah. There's no gambling, no, no gambling on Twitch. Like Twitch is, Twitch is great, right? Yeah. That's Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, it's Minecraft. Exactly. Anyway. All right. So yeah. Let's keep going. Thank you so much to Lolo SNK for the prime, the ARK for the prime as well. Thank you so much to number red for the prime. Thank you so much to number red. Yeah. All right. Okay, so anyway, you guys, we're on seven and a half out of eight, round number nine coming up in a second. That was Elden Ring. I know. Tell me about it. So uh, Magnus is not playing today. No, he's not. Yeah. Love to see you happy. Oh, I'm in a great mood, you guys. I'm having a great day. Yeah. So waiting for round number nine to start in a second. Uh, it's not gambling if you win, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I agree. I agree, right? So yeah, round number nine coming up in a second. Looks like I'm gonna have to play against Gogiev. Hopefully I can win and get the uh, get the dub in the tournament. Thank you, Quixote, for the eight months. Appreciate it. But yeah, so far so good. Oh, the second title Tuesday starts at 5 p.m. Eastern time. So in about um four and a half hours from now. So we're gonna be we're gonna be trying to finish up the disrespect speedrun if we can. Um why do I have three drinks today? I only have two because I woke up and I drank my caffeine right away before I started streaming. So today I only have my water, my big jug, and I have my smoothie. That's what I've got. So that's what we're doing. I look like Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. I think you're confusing me with Wesley So, you guys, but thank you. Yeah. Who's first person to left Gogiev? It's some GM. Oh, it's Anton Korobov, of course, the person that everyone's heard of. Yeah, Anton Korobov. Not, no big surprise there. Um, MSB on seven, Mechanic on seven, Frederick Spain, Casey, everybody else. Yeah. Anyway. As a sports and, and sports betting lawyer, almost every platform will have gambling integrated with it soon. It's going to be legal everywhere. I mean, I guess, it, what's the saying? Mo money for, for, for the government? Is that the saying? Okay, I'm going to be solid here, not take huge risks. Because uh, he's going to do something wild. Let's play Bishop B4. I, I like the C5 line. It's been working out pretty well for me. So let's, let's keep doing it. Okay, um, I saw this castle. I'm going to play a5 here. Probably not best. Let's go b6, bishop b7, knight c6. We all know the drill of what I'm playing for. 
I guess I play... Wait a second. Bishop e7, e4, e5 is not great. So I'm going to play rook e8 here. And probably I'm going to go e5 next move if I can. Guess bishop b7 looks fine. Okay, it goes e4, so I play e5, we trade. It goes knight f1, interesting. Now I can play knight c6 here, which is completely fine. I can also go knight a6. I think I'm going to play knight a6 so I can play for knight c5 later on. That's my plan, at least. I don't know if it's actually good, but I have rook c8. I can play like... Uh, again, hard decision here. Um... I could also just play g6 maybe in sack, but what do I want to do is a question. I think I'm going to go... I think I'm just going to play rook c8, because take six, I just take. If c5, I just take on d4. Plays queen b1, which is interesting. I'm going to actually... Uh, no, I can't do that. I gotta go here because if knight e3 I can take and take the pawn if my math is correct. Not that I can actually count, but my math looks right. He does it. Okay, so if I take knight d4, knight e4. We'll see. Because I take knight b5, I have queen b8. Wait a second. This is tricky. I can play g6. I can also go knight c5. I think I'm... I really don't want to play g6 here. I kind of want to take on e4, like bishop e4. Knight e4, knight f5. Bishop e4, knight e4, f3. It's probably... Uh, whatever. I'll just play it. This isn't what I want to do, but I'll do it anyway. Because now he's got like f3 or something. Something. It's still probably okay for me, but this is not what I was aiming for. It goes there, which is interesting. Um, I can play queen c5 as well. Actually, queen c5 kind of makes sense. Because now e4 is weak. And if he goes f3, I think I have d5. Knight d5, wow. Um... Actually, that's a very good move that I also completely missed. Um, I'm in some trouble here, actually. Like, do I have knight g4? Wait a second. I think I have to go here, actually, or else I just lose the game almost. I'm down on clock, but it's not the end of the world yet. Now, rook d2, logical. Oh, but now if I take, he still is cd5, and I'm still an idiot. I play b3, what's going on? Okay, I'm, I'm thinking too long. I just got to go. Yeah, I'm just going to play b3, and we'll see what he does. He can play a3, I guess. But I'm going to take... I'm trying to think about what my move is, basically, after his next turn. That's what I'm thinking about. Okay, so he takes now... Okay, he lets me... Take. I have knight b4 here. Five. Of course, I should play knight b4 to hit the bishop. I can play f5 maybe, or knight f6. I've I've got to come up with moves though. This is the problem. I'll just go here to attack. Yeah, I should have played f5 probably, but. Too low on time, that's the problem here. Yeah, I feel like I had something there that I missed, but okay, I just I just play the position and pretend that I'm I haven't done anything wrong and we just go on. Probably play like uh I'm gonna play h4 here to fix the pawn and maybe queen e7. My position's kind of improving a little bit here, because f4 I have knight h5 and knight g3 as well. Oh, I can also sack maybe. 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 
Although I should have played knight h5 first, of course. I go queen f6. I mean, I feel like there should be tricks here somehow, but I don't see them right off. He goes there, logical. Probably I missed some. I probably had something here that I just missed. It was e5, so if I... Oh, oh, geez, how am I so low on time, too? What the heck? How am I so low on time? What the heck? I mean, how am I so low? Yeah, I, didn't, I just suddenly realized I'm, like, losing on time. What the heck? I can take d5, though, and I'm still kind of okay. Why am I so low on time? Jeez. Oh, I blundered this rookie six, too. Yeah, I just... I threw this game. Oh, I was so fine. I was completely fine, and I threw it. I mean, I I, I should have played. I should have. I should have played. I should have played um, knight h5 here. But I was okay right here. I was still bad. Yeah, I didn't realize how little time I had. I thought I had like ten more years than I did. Also, I should have probably played queen e7 right here. Yeah, that sucked. I just threw that so hard. If I had moved quicker, I would have survived that. But I threw that pretty hard. Thank you, Allison, for the 22 and Zio Sense. Thank you, M. Minoc for the Prime. That's upsetting because I was completely fine and then I just got careless. I was also up so much time in that game, too. Like, up so much time here. And it's still fine until I go for this. Yeah, takes was ridiculous because I spent all my time hoping for this, but I think I'm losing here. Uh, maybe I'm not losing. Uh, no, I am losing. 90, yeah, 95 just wins because after takes, takes, everything's hanging. Yeah, like, I spent way too much time right here. And this is where it was it was okay right until here. And then I got careless. I played played this move after a long think. Then the time evens out and it just goes downhill. He played well though. He did play well. Yeah, he did play well to, to give him credit where credit is due. He played that pretty well. I still should not have lost it, but that's life. Anyway, next game. I can still win two and maybe get to first um, if I'm if I'm careful. Thank you, Nitty Arm, for the two months to Langram. If I win two games, probably I can still get to first. Because one of them will have to beat him, and then I'll have to beat them in the last round. He's not cheating. No, don't, don't even suggest that. No, it's a strong player. Yeah, don't, don't suggest that. So careless, though. So, so careless. But that's life. Life goes on. If I win two, I'll get at least second. So outside chance at first, uh, second place. Uh, he's a top player of Canada. No, he's from Ukraine. Um, how do you deal with extreme OTB anxiety? I've never had to deal with extreme OTB anxiety. So, um, I don't, I mean, I, I don't know if you're trying to get me to refer to uh, ding or what. Um, but I've never had to deal with that. So, I mean, I, I assume you're trying to say something about ding when you say extreme anxiety OTB, uh, but I, it's just weird to me. Thank you to robot man for the prime. I mean, ding, ding seemed completely fine during the candidates. Um, so I don't know. It seems like he's almost a different person, if, if that's what you're referring to. Um, that, like, somehow it's just completely different. But, yeah. Uh, Piano Souls says anxiety. Well, I mean, I assume that everyone's talking about Ding Loren and his, just the way he's been. Um, I don't know. Thank you so much uh, to Goal for the Prime. Thanks for P.E. Goal. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I don't I don't know as far as Ding goes, like what's going on exactly. Again, as I said before, the candidates in the World Championship are very different tournaments than anything else you can play in. That 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 has to be said. Like I cannot reiterate that enough that the World Championship and the Cants are very very different than any other tournament that you will ever play in. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna get I get a double black and I have to win this is a terrible pairing. I don't even get any of the people on eight, which is even better. That's frustrating. He's probably going to play... How do I create a mess? So I'll play e6. Ah, okay. He's going to play something interesting. This is going to turn into a... Um... 
This is turning into a, um, whatchamacallit, a, a Trump house key. Play D6. I have the double op combo. So the good, good news about this position is it's going to be double edge. That's actually the thing that I'm happiest about is that I'm going to win or I'm going to lose this game just because I have the bishop pair. I don't understand A4. Because I just stop. I mean, he can play A5, I guess, but I don't, I don't understand what A4 does specifically. Would I rather face Ding or Nepo at their best? Um, probably I would say Ding, and I would say that that has probably changed over the last couple of years. I think if you go back a few years, I would have said that I'd much rather face uh, face uh, Nepo at his best. But Nepo's had a lot of time to do a lot of preparation for the World Championship matches, so I think it's a little bit different. Draw incoming, yeah. He can play knight d5, but I'm not worried. Um, let's say a5 of his castle, of course. I might play b5 somewhere, but we'll see. I just don't know which pawn he's pushing. Now, I can play c6 and e5 maybe, but there's a weakness here. I can also go b5 at some point. I don't really... Actually, I don't like my position that much. I'm going to play rook d8 and maybe knight f8. Maybe c5, maybe b5. I'm trying to keep the position very flowing. See what's happening in Korobov's game. He is, he's actually a little bit worse here. A little bit worse out of the opening. So D5 is played. Okay, so I guess I go E5. I mean, the good news is this is going to get aggressive. This is going to turn into an all-out brawl on the king's side. I just have to make sure when I go F5, there's no knight D4. I'm going to play knight F8. He can still go B5, I guess. This doesn't look right, though, optically. I mean, maybe even g5, g4 is an idea. I, I don't know which pawn I'm pushing, but I'm pushing some pawn. He's using a lot of time here. So I've, I've got the time advantage of step one. Yeah, he's using forever. So I'm going to have a big time advantage at a critical moment. Whether I can use that time advantage to prove something more is a big question. Thank you so much to Dead Men Don't Wear Played for the Prime. Thank you to MFAM Rising for the four months. Thank you so much to MFAM Rising for the four months. Wait, why is he thinking so long? I mean, I mean I'll take. Because now I have knight g6, and after takes, 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 rook e7, I just take on c3. Or f4, I take on c3. Wow, okay, goes rook b1. So he's basically asking me to attack him on the uh, king's side. This doesn't look right. I mean, really doesn't look right. I think I'm just going to go for it without 4g5. Why not? All aboard the choo-choo train. Go here. I mean, this really doesn't look right without a pawn on c4. I'm going to go like g5 and knight of 6, maybe h5. This looks pretty dubious, in my opinion. Okay, let's go here. He's trying to get c4, and I can also just play bishop d7 to kick the knight. Okay, let's go g5. First things first, I can also play bishop d7. But this hits the pawn, which is very important, because the pawn is now under attack. Very, very important that this pawn is under attack here. Otherwise, he'd have plenty of time to defend. D1. Okay, so I guess I'll go here to hit the knight. Although that's a bat. That wasn't a good move, probably. I'm going to go here, queen g6, and we'll see what he does. I don't know what rook a1 does exactly, so I'll go here. He plays f3. So I guess I go here to stop c5. Now b5 doesn't really concern me. I mean, I still want to go g4 and just crush him on the g-file, basically. I need 1-2. How many moves do I need here is the other question. I go queen h6. I'm trying to think how many moves I need here. I think I can play here and g4 next move. Goes queen b1. Now, okay, wait. So now if I go g4, what's happening? Still got queen g. Okay, whatever. I'm going to do it. I'm 
I'm gonna go here knight c5 maybe I also have bishop h4 and bishop g3 I'm actually throwing this game too a hack a7 queen h6 go here I mean I feel like I'm throwing this game away but he doesn't have any good moves that's one good thing I mean I have one very simple idea I do have knight d3 or something yeah see I've, I've messed this up completely <laughs> ridiculous I found a way to mess this up let's go here I guess trying to sack or something King d1 is potentially a very good move who cares let's sack and go here I might win this game I also I'm moving way too fast considering the time situation like I'm up I'm up 50 seconds and I'm moving like a madman and he's got that which of course yeah why am I moving like a complete lunatic here a check should be winning somehow <laughs> why can't I find a win wait is there a mate here oh it's just it's just me what am I doing it's that there we go oh my gosh he had knight c1 oh no oh no he had knight c1 um oh he had knight c1 uh, and it's it's I'm not even winning okay this is you see the bar look at this bar Wee! all the way down pathetic okay I get the win wait so now I have a chance you guys I have a chance if I win my last round game against either Bornick or I can't play Bornick so I play MSB and Bornick plays Gogiev I think it was Sentageous for the 16 Turnip Swagger for the 41 Pumpkin for the 16 Tailing at Shark for the 37 and Captain Baguette for the 14 so if I win my game and Gogiev does not draw or win I'm gonna win the tournament I have to or wait no I can't play MSB either wait no I can't oh Mechanic won ugh Wait, I don't even know who I play because I played MSB and Bortnik already. Yeah, that was terrible. Uh, terrible, terrible stuff by me. But whatever. I won the game, I guess. Yeah. If there were two more rounds, I could probably win the event. But with only one more, I, I don't think I'm going to win. Because basically, Gogia, I mean, it's 2.5. I guess if I win and Gogia draws, I could, I could catch him on tiebreak potentially. Yeah, but we'll see. There's some hope, though. There is some hope, yeah, if the game's a draw. So, one more round to go. Yeah, I don't know who I played, because I played Bo Bluebaum. I played Bortnik. I mean, maybe I played Frederick Svein on 8. I don't know. Thank you so much to Elvis Doctor for the 17 months. Thank you so much to Elvis Doctor. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to Martin8673 for the 16-month resub. Thank you so much to Martin. Appreciate it. So no. you're too strong well generally yes but I, I I lost this game to Gogiev which I probably shouldn't have lost and that's life tiebreak score is um tiebreak score is uh I don't know how it's calculated but yeah I've, I've won I think I've won 51 or 52 title twos I think it's sign off the six I won't even pay attention to it until we get near 100 which will probably be next year at some point so I'm not even thinking about it So, all right. What does number 52 mean? That's a tiebreaker. When am I coming to Pakistan? Um, I don't know, you guys. That, I don't know about. <laughs> yeah, that I'm not sure of, honestly. So, thank you so much for Grand Dawn for the two months. Thank you so much for Grand Dawn. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for Grand Dawn. 
Um, when I come into North Korea, North Korea visit, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Uh, thank you so much to Q27. Of course, I got the worst possible pairing here. And I'm going to try to use the meta against him because he needs to win the game. So he can't be solid here. Like, if he draws the game, he gets no money. So I assume Duda is not going to play E5 here, right? Let's go. Let's have. Let's keep the meme dream alive. Let's go. Let's go, you guys. Let's go. Let's play the Smith Moore game. Thank you to Bernie for the 24. Thank you to Mr. Player X. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's let's keep the dream alive. Here we go. D6. Okay. Um. Okay, so let's go Bishop C4. Thank you so much to Vine some for the 17 months. Okay, E6. Um, castle here. Goes knight e7. Play h4. I mean, he can take with the pawn, but then I go queen g4. So he takes with the knight. So I go bishop b5, check. Go f4, kick the knight away, and I'm going to play queen g4. I think it was a snake man for the 36. Thank you, Caspina. Okay, Castle's right into everything. Um, I mean, I guess he needs to win the game too, so of course he should. I go Bishop E3, D5. That doesn't look right, so I'm going to play here. Let's go here. Not worried about anything on the king's side. I'm basically, I'm going all in on the queen's side. Plays F5. I, I, I'm sure that for a computer, this is actually already winning for white, but I, unfortunately, I'm not a computer, so I don't possess such abilities. I guess I'll go here. I bet for a computer, this is already close to winning for white. Just just a guess. After the game, we'll check, because I'm not a, I'm not a computer, so I can't play, play perfect chess like a computer can, but I bet for a computer, this is already really, really good for white. Just a guess. Just a guess. I'm going to play B4 here. I mean, again, who cares? If I lose, I lose. There's no downside to losing, though. So at this point, I have to win. Play bishop d4, maybe. I'm just going to go here, though. Maybe queen e3. Maybe b4 was wrong. I feel like b4 was wrong somehow. It's a very, very messy position, though. Very, very messy, which is just what I need, because I need to win this game. He plays bishop g7. Now I can play e5 and knight a4, maybe. e5 looks right. Rook c1 also looks reasonable. I have d5. Okay, let's just go e5 here, I guess. And knight a4. Oh, he's got knight c4, which I missed. Still remains very messy, though. It's still not clear at all. Whoa, um... That looks very wrong, but is there a way to punish? I guess I'll just play here. I don't care about queen b5. I just sack. I'm looking to sack too. I think I miss. I think I messed this up actually. Yeah, I did mess this up kind of. Uh, I should have gone knight b2 as well. It's a shame. Because I know that I was better here at some point, and then I messed it up. Hmm. Yeah, he goes g5. I can take and play knight e2, maybe. It's still very messy, actually. Knight e2 and knight e4. Guess I'll go for it. I mean, I'm, I don't know if it's right, but it's still a move. I mean, it still remains very tricky. I have like knight d4, I've got knight f4. Oh, he's got queen g7, which I missed, of course. Oh, wait, do I have bishop g3 and queen takes e6? Wait a second. I feel like I have something here, but I, eh. There's something here. I can still fill it, but I... Hmm. 
there's something here, but I can't quite find it. I know it. I know I can feel, I can feel it. There's something here, but I just can't spot it. I'm not a computer. I just, I know, I know there's something here, but I, I'm just, I'm not good enough. I'm not 3,600 good. There was something there that I had. I, I just, I know it. I know there was something, but I'm not a computer. I guarantee you that I was better out of that opening again. Like every, like every more game, I was just better, but I, life. Oh, I can't play Queen F3. Okay, I guess I'll just play G3. I should just make moves though, and try to keep the game going. Because Dudot does sometimes blunder, actually, when he gets low on time. There's also Knight D2, which, of course, is a disaster. But I just keep moving and hope for something good to happen. It probably won't, but you never know. E4. Oh, and I can't even move my Knight now. Yeah. Uh. I, I missed something there. I, okay, I, again, how am I down so much time on the clock? What the heck? It's insane. How, how do I suddenly have no time in every single game? It's ridiculous. A four. Again, I've got no time somehow. How, how do I just have no time every game? I just don't understand how, but I just don't. Another great position that I, that I ruined out of the opening. Yeah. Another great position that I ruined. It's winning out of this opening too. I'm sure of it. But I'm not a computer. This game also highlights the dangers of trying to play like a... Um, Highlights the dangers of trying to play computer openings, for sure. Oh, I hung that, too. Yeah, I guarantee you I was winning this game. I guarantee you that I was much better. Let me go back. Yeah. Somewhere around here? Huh, maybe not. Queen e2? Queen e2 is better? Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong, actually. Maybe it wasn't actually clearly better. Ah, uh, bishop b3 is the line. If I go bishop b3, it's 0.5 for white. Or not. Not clear. Yeah, it's... No, I mean, I, I felt like I had initiative somewhere around here. But I think after b5, it's already too late. Somewhere around here, I thought I... It's already too late here. Somewhere around here, maybe there's some chance. But, ah, uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Yeah, the engine doesn't know. Yeah, I mean, probably it was a bad mistake going for broke anyway, but if I, if I don't... I mean, the only way I'm going to be unhappy... Yeah, I'm not going to be unhappy. Okay, Mechanic won, so I'm not going to be unhappy. Stop thinking like what? Stop thinking like just going for content. Content is content, but it wouldn't have mattered because Mechanic won, so I can't be that upset. Yeah. I think Alicia Norm for the, uh, the seven months. I think it was ZZ for the seven. I think Captain Nemo. I think it was PW Gameplays for the three. Appreciate it. All right, let's play some Blitz because I just destroyed my rating for no reason unfortunate but that's life yeah if i don't lose that eighth round game or the ninth round game i i, I would have finished in the top three but how it goes all right i'll challenge wesley to some blitz play some whoops wait not what i meant to do okay let's play wesley or somebody else i just ruined my rating for no reason i'll challenge polish fighter too challenge bortnik Content is king, yeah. Yeah, content is king. Barely 30, 30, 3,000. No, it's 3,196. But yeah, it was just a little bit too much. Again, though, out of the opening, I was completely fine. Just like I was against Fabiano, but probably just a little bit too much. A little bit too much. Yeah. Haven't I played Wesley too much? I have. Yeah, I have. Thank you to Fiskville for the, uh, for the 12. Thank you to Real Mia for the Prime. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Find somebody else to play against. Okay. Challenge Dropstone, I guess. I played him the other day, actually. Yeah. Play Bullet. I don't want to play Bullet. I don't want to play Bullet. That's just not... Okay. I played this guy the other day, and I actually did not play good chess. So let's keep it simple. Um, let's go here. Let's go here in Bishop D7, I guess. 
Voting for Duda, he's pretty exciting. What do you mean voting, voting for Duda? What do you mean? I mean, Duda actually, out of all the promising players, is one of those guys who's lost a lot of points. Um, uh, his rating has gone from like 2760 to like 2720 or something. So I don't know what's up with Duda, but his rating is on a big downswing lately for whatever reason. Like Duda's rating is, he's 2724, which is just seems very, very low for Duda. Very, very low. The Duda, dude, the dude peaked, and we'll see. I, I don't, I don't know if you can say that, but definitely his rating should be higher. That that much is clear. I would say it feels like his rating is. He's still twenty four. Twenty four is actually kind of getting up there for Duda. I mean, you don't have big improvements past a certain age in general. So Duda, I mean, twenty four is not young. Like he's getting to that age where if he doesn't doesn't have some big peak and he doesn't have some big improvement, he's probably not going to improve again. I mean, that's not, not, not trying to be rude or harsh, but that's just the cold, cold hard reality. Um, let's go here and hit the knight. It's going to go knight d2. I guess I'll play b6, stop c5. I think there's a gi calera for the 12 months. Um, I can play a5. c 5 a move. I mean, I can play f5, I guess. Yeah, let's just go for it. f5, f4. Let's go here, maybe f4. We'll see what happens. He's probably going to try to attack on the queen side. I'm going to try to attack on the king side, of course. Let's go here. I'm going to have to play h3 or else I get g4. Logical. He wants c5. I could play c5 myself. Doesn't look like the right move. Frankly, I don't know what the right move is. So, um, I guess I'll just go here and play like h5. Because I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do in this position. Duda is just sandbagging. I doubt that. But yeah, his rating is definitely on a big downswing, which is kind of surprising for someone who I think everybody looks at him as being like a future world championship contender. Let's go to g 6 I'm going to play for G4 here and just keep it going. I think there was Strider for the four. Nepo is still rising. Nepo, but the thing with when you say Nepo is still rising, Nepo is never really that low, though, to begin with. Nepo has always been like 27, like 70 or 27, 80, at least for the last like I don't know how long. I mean, I feel like I've known Nepo too long now, but uh, for a long time, he's been up there. So let's go here. Go here in F3. Be there. So we keep going. I can take or not take. It's a question. Or do I just take and go for F3? Queen G4 and F3 looks pretty, pretty good. So I'm just going to go for it. I think he's too slow with b6. I get f3. I mean, this doesn't look right. It looks very... I mean, if this is if this is okay for white, I'd be shocked. I think there was a don't shoot for the 34 months. Don't shoot. Exactly. This looks horrible for white. I don't, I don't even know what he's supposed to do, honestly. He goes knight c6. I go f3, g3, queen h3. What the heck is going on? Yeah, I'll play f3, of course. Correct. Take, I can also play like knight h4. If I take, he's going to take with a d pawn. I go knight h4, and I don't know. I mean, if this is okay for white, I mean, good job. I mean, this just looks crushing for me with knight g2 and fg2. f2 is a huge threat as well. Isn't f2 just like winning? Or am I, I also have knight g2. Wait, well, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I play ab5. I don't want to burn too much time to mess this up, but this has to be winning if I just take. Go here. I mean, he, can, he can't even take the rook. I mean, nah, this, he's not surviving this. This is over. This goes rook f2. So if I play knight g2, yeah, there's just no moves here. He can try king f1, but I go like queen h3. Yeah, there's just no escaping for white. This is over. Keep going. Who do I think will be the next number one after Magnus? I would say right now, out of the juniors, the only one who's shown incredible promise is Noterbeck. Noterbeck has shown incredible promise and, and, and talent and potential. So I would probably say Noterbeck. If you, if you made me pick one, I would say Noterbeck. I mean, of course, Gucci Reza is always there, but I, I, I don't know. He hasn't played that much, and it's hard to know where he's going. So I, I would probably put my money on Noterbeck. 
That, that, that would be my my uh, my bold prediction, if you, if you can even call it that. Let's play Queen E2. Ali Reza will rise. I mean, I assume he will. I don't think it's the end of the world for him, obviously, where, where he's at. But, okay, he plays E5. Um, I'm just going to play Rook D1. Maybe I'm going to play for D4 somewhere. I, I don't know. Let's just go here and trade. I think there was a decor for the 11th thing, D Stevens for the uh, fourth thing, a Finchie for the uh, prime as well. D5, I did not expect that. Um, looks kind of wrong somehow. I'm going to go here. Doesn't feel like the right move somehow. I'll take. Let's just trade all the juicers. Let's go here. Go here. Ninety four. Oh wait, I just blundered. Oh, you... I just blundered. Knight C two. Ridiculous. So stupid. I'm still maybe okay with ninety five somewhere, but that's so stupid. Goes F five. Okay, so plays F five, which is interesting. Let me just go here because now ninety five is always a threat with F four. I thought I play ninety five takes takes F four. No, I still got E four. I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just wasting time. So let's just make some moves and, and try to do something. Okay, I'll go here now. What am I doing? He plays Rook D8, so he's going to sack on D5. And again, I just I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just playing like a total idiot. So I'll go here. I'm just going to be down a pawn here. Play like bishop c1, bishop e3, and probably try to hold this. I mean, no, no guarantees that I can, but I'm only slightly worse. Go here, I guess. I'm going to play g4, try to play on the pawn structure here. Everything here is going to come down to the queen side eventually, whether, depending on what I can do. So I trade... I mean, I think this is a draw. He's going to go rook g7, play a4. I mean, this should be a draw based on my knowledge of bishop end games. I just don't really believe that black can be winning here. I mean, I guess he can play e4 somewhere. Go here. I mean, it's the wrong color bishop, so very hard to believe this can be winning. I can also trade. Same thing, it probably is. This should be a draw. Takes, takes. Go here. No, it's still a draw, because I can still just wait. I can go here. Yeah, it's just a draw. Maybe I can even win here.
Uh, it's just a draw. Yeah. Okay, good draw from, from a much worse position. Important draw. Right, let's keep going. Let's play D5. I think it's much a Kayla for the prime and they appreciate as well. Appreciate it. Let's keep going. Yeah, that was a, I mean, I was obviously just lost. So to draw that game is, is of course, amazing. Let's go here. Let's go here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think we just keep playing the mirror game here with knight d5, unless I'm mistaken. I think we just play the mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all. I think this is fine. Yeah, I think we just keep playing the mirror game. This is mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all. He can play knight c3, but I can also just go knight c3. Okay, so I take. Yeah, I'm completely fine here. Or am I? Or did I just... Oh, no, I'm not... Fine. Or am I? Wait. Wait, I can also take on d4, maybe? Knight a8. H3 or something. Queen c6 and bishop h3 is very tricky. Or queen e4 and bishop Wait, okay, so takes... I mean, you can obviously take on f7. If I were to take his knight, knight c7, which is why I didn't play queen takes d5, but it still is not clear, actually, in terms of what's going on here. It's very, very messy. So I'll pre rook takes, rook takes bishop. It helps I only learned when he was cooking during the RCC. Who was cooking? Who was cooking and what were they cooking? Not in the original book. It's mirror, mirror. It's mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? That's, that's the saying from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Thanks so much to Zesty for the three most thoughts on Frank. I don't know. I don't know you guys. Sorry. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I actually don't know what you're talking about. It's, it's, it's magic mirror. Oh, it's magic mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest? Thanks so much to Andrew for the five. Wait, wait, wait. Is it? Wait, what? Magic mirror on the wall, Snow White. No, it's mirror, mi I mean, I learned mirror, mirror on the wall. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? Yeah, it's, a, it's mirror, mirror. It's not, it's not magic mirror on the wall. Well, what are you guys talking about? I mean, come on, be serious. Okay, so wait, I'm up a minute on the clock. Let's go, let's go here. Play queen d5, maybe? Yeah, I'm going to play queen d5 and try to induce e4. And go here. Maybe I should just play queen c7 right away, but whatever. It's queen b3. I go rook c8. Bounced. I mean, I'm definitely... I'm up on clock, so I should be in great shape here. Bishop e3. I can obviously trade. I can also just play like a6, maybe. I'm just going to go a6 and then e5 and stop knight b5 with a pawn push. I like my position a lot here. b1, okay, so now I can just... Wait, if I just take, what am I missing? Because rook c1, I eat the queen and the bishop guards the rook. No, I think he just blundered this for no reason. So I take knight e2, let's go here. Trying to put pressure, let's go here. Go here, offer the trade, of course. I guess I take with the king. I don't actually know if taking with the king is right, but I feel like I'm better here. Okay, so I can even just eat the pawn. Let's draw it back, and now I get bishop c6, and everything is working out here. It's turning into the dream. Let's go here, target the pawn. Let's go here. Go here, target the pawn. Let's go here, keep an eye on the pawn. Oh, he's got, no, knight a6, I have bishop e4, so bishop g5. Just go here. Yeah, this is turning into the dream. I'm just going to win this game very, very smoothly. I even have check. Uh, let's just go A5, A4, A3. Let's start pushing P. We get the win. Keep going. Thank you so much to Squirt Aurelius for the five months. Thank you so much to 
Here's to rock. They need a mag, uh, mag, magnanimous for the prime. They need a ZD for the prime. P1 Royals for the prime and Utkuk for the prime. Thank you so much. Let's go Knight D2 and E4. Gucci, Gucci on the wall or Gucci mirror on the wall. Who's the Paris of them all, right? Yes. Gucci Reza Ferruja. Take the pawn. Bishop G2, of course. Castles, rookie one. I believe H3 and rookie one is still considered correct. Maybe not completely, but it seems fine. Uh, I think C3 is still fine. Let's go here, trade some B shops. I guess I'll take with the king. Doesn't really matter which way I take, but I, I'm going to assume that it makes more sense to take with the king and put the king on G2. Gucci Reza is where that comes from. Yeah, yeah, no, of course, we're talking about Gucci Reza Ferruja. Now, I can play Bishop B3. I can also go, like, Knight H4. I can also play Knight H2. I'm going to go... Mm, yeah, I think I should go Knight H4, ID, and Knight F5, maybe. Play F3, Bishop E3. Knight F5 looks completely... Oh, I was just going to go Knight E7 to trade. Oh, wow. He plays G5. I did not expect that. Um, that's a surprising move to me, at least. I think there's the RC for the 14. You need to study more fairy tales. That's a free juicer. Yeah, just. Mm, do I go to D3 or F3? Also, a big question. I think I'll just go to F3. Probably I'll go Queen C6 again anyway, because it's probably the best move. Okay, plays G4. So I'll take. Just Knight E3 is fine. Because now the knight on e7 hangs after takes. g8 doesn't look right. Um, wait, if I go rook h1, there's queen e4. So I guess I take. Now I play rook h1 to hit the pawn. And if rook g6, I have rook h6, rook h6, knight g5. Classic flash tactics, and we win the game. He's probably going to resign here if I had to guess. Okay, so now I just take, because takes, there's knight g5 check, winning the queen, classic fossil. Now he, oh, he doesn't resign still. Okay, so let's go here, attack the queen. Now knight g5, I've got knight e5. I mean, it's just a disaster. Any, any way you break it down, this is a total disaster. When I go here, I fork the work in the queen, and now he's going to resign. Next game, let's keep going. Probably I'm going to play about 10 games with this guy. Probably best of 10 is my guess. So let's play the same um, C5 line. Oh, uh, Mashanik won. Alexei Serrano was the win winning player. Probably going to go Knight C3. We'll keep going. Yeah, I'll play. I guess I'll just go D6 and Knight D7. Pretty standard stuff. Also take. Let's just take and play ninety seven. I guess I can play ninety four here and take maybe. Oh, did I blunder something? No, I just take. Drop back. Could have gone to g six two maybe, but I think this diagonal is more important. What are my thoughts on the Budapest Gambit? Completely playable opening. Completely playable. It was E4. Take on D4. I can also just play E5, F5. Hmm. He wants to play D5, so I should objectively take. Objectively, I should take, but I don't like taking. It's either that or I play E5. Three rookie eight, knight f1. No, I think I'm going to take, and I'm just going to play this traditionally of like. Mm, I think I'll go queen e7. Maybe I should go queen g5. We'll see what he does. Plays a4, which looks highly, highly suspicious to me. I mean, this looks highly sus. Where's f3? I mean, I can always play f5. What I need to do is somehow I need to put my piece on better squares. So. 
F5 is always a move. It's not the move that I necessarily love. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play bishop c6 to target the pawns. It makes It's a logical first step. Now I'm going to go f5, open this up. Um, let's take. He's going to go knight c3. I'm going to play like queen e6. He can play knight d5, I suppose. Let's go here. I might be sacking on f3 here. Wait, rook f3. Rook f3, queen takes d6 though. Hmm. Let's just go. I should have used more time before just blitzing out this move. F3, queen d6. Um. Can always go back and make a draw with rook f6, but it's not what I want to do. On the other hand. Yeah, see if only this. I'm going to go for it though. Hopefully it works. If he takes, I can even go rook f. Whoa, what? Wait, what? He just snapped it like he was a god. Um, maybe I should have played rook f3. Why did I not play rook takes f3? Rook takes f3 was actually, I think... Oh, wait, no, rook f3 at 95... Okay, so he goes here, so I'm going to lolly him with queen h3. Yeah, and this is winning for me. Because I go here, I threaten the lolly on g2. He has to stop. I go check. I take, and the queen's under attack. And now I'm, now I'm probably winning. Although he still has queen d3, but I go back. I reset the lolly on g2, and I should be winning. I think there's a rakam. Think of a yosolator. Let's go here. Reset the lolly with queen h3. And this must be winning somehow. Yeah, he goes there. I can also drop the juicer and go for the bat double A battery as well. But then he can clog the diagonal with knight d5. So queen h3 must be right. This must be right to set up the lolly. He has to play queen d2. I can maybe just go h5, h4. Yeah, this should be winning. The what? The Lolita? No, I said the lolly. It's named after Jean Battista Lolly, a very famous uh, Italian chess player. This should just be winning, I think. Yeah, if I go h4, what's his move? 90 i ah, he wants 97 king h h4 97 king f7 rook f1 i mean i don't, I don't get it okay, so if i go here oh he's got queen c2 i go e4 oh he's got wait but i'm threatening mate in one <laughs> let's keep going yeah, he, he missed. I know, I know what he miscalculated. Let's play c4. Um, so we get a lolly checkmate there. Pretty, pretty nice. What can I say? Let's go knight c, knight f3. I'll play knight c3 here. Um, I know, I know what he calculated and why he changed. Let's play d4 takes. Play, I don't know. Let's take and play e4. Yeah, I'll actually, after this game, I'll show you guys what he, uh, what he missed. Go queen d3, just like bishop e2 in castles. Oh, maybe I had e5 there, actually. Take, I mean, just bishop e2, bishop d2. This is actually very boring. I play bishop d2 and bishop e2, what's going on? Maybe I'm missing something here? I don't know. Ah, he takes with the, oh, now he just takes with the pawn, okay. So I guess I go here. Position doesn't look quite right somehow, but d4, I have knight, knight b1. Yeah, a5 could be an issue. This actually could all be going downhill pretty fast. If I castle, bishop a6. Now 3, d4. Castle, bishop, d4, bishop a6, rook a6 is fine. dc3. dc3, queen d2, I lose material. Castles is not working. So maybe I should just play queen d4 or something. I feel like I made a mistake somehow. Knight b5 here and a4 or something. Looks very ugly. Very, very ugly position to play. Go a4, consolidate. I could have traded, but I think a4 is better. Because if I take and then play a4, he's end peasant with b takes a3. So I think I'm kind of okay here. Kind of. Would I ever come to Germany? I mean, Germany is a place I've been to many, many times. Yeah. 
Um, I've been to Germany many times. What is that barking? It's in the song, you guys. It's in the song. And now here, Peruvian singing forever. Thanks so much to Kubis Schnubi for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, I mean, I've been to Germany many times, but it's just like, I, I, I don't travel that much. I mean, I am traveling to Norway, I guess, and I'm going through Frankfurt, but uh, that's only going through the airport. That's not, um, that's not, um, that's, uh, that's it. Have I ever visited Turkey? I've been to Turkey many times as well, yeah. Am I visiting El Magneto? I'm playing the tournament. There's a, there's a tournament called Norway Chess is happening. So that, that's why I'm going. <laughs> Who's better, Pragnanot or, or Noterbeck? I mean, they're both very, very talented players, but I would have to say right now... Oh, why did I even cap? I should have just traded the Rooks. What am I doing? Do I have F3, though, maybe? Maybe I tricked it. Maybe I got ridiculously lucky with F3. Yeah, I got ridiculously lucky that I have F3 here because he can't take the Rook B1. I blundered, but I, I didn't blunder. Oh, I did blunder. <laughs> I did blunder. Never mind. I did blunder badly. I played the wrong order, and then I got punished. Um, I, I should I should have played a Rook takes 8 and then Castle. Then I was only slightly worse. Um, okay, let's go here. Yeah, I played the, I played the wrong order, and it... Um, I'll play queen f6. You can also take with a b-pawn. I'll just take with a d-pawn here. Twitch suspended me because they thought I was a bot, but I'm not, and I'm back. That's unfortunate, my man. Let's just develop. It's bishop e3. I can obviously... Tr there, there's some weird line with g5 in here. I don't remember the exact sequence at the moment. Let's just do this one. Or wait, I, g5 is an insane pre-move, actually, because he could always take the queen. What am I doing? Let's go here. Now, what am I doing? That's just insane. Um, <laughs> I think castle is a move. I think bishop e6 is also a move. I think h6 is also a move. I think bishop g4 is also a move. So I'm just gonna go here and trade the bishops. I mean, this isn't this isn't like a dream or anything. It's just a position after rook e8. He goes h4. Interesting choice because now I can play g4. h4 feels a little bit wrong to me. It doesn't feel quite right. Thank you to Kami Marta with the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And knight d4 makes a lot of sense. Um, I do have knight e5. Maybe just like rook e8 and then knight e5. It's going to go knight f5. I'm going to go like king h8. And then we'll see what happens after that. Let's go here. Because now knight h6 I have knight e5. Otherwise it wins a pawn. Or maybe it's queen g5 here. It'd be a little bit scary, but we'll see. So, all right, rook d7 is played, which is probably a good move. Although, I feel like I'm about to blunder the house here somehow. But I, I don't see a win for white. If I get 95, I'm fine. I think it's going to Scranton, Pennsylvania for the 27-month resub. Actually, yeah, I did blunder, didn't I? Maybe not. Queen h6, I have rook e4. Maybe not. If I get 95, and I'm actually maybe even better here. Queen g5, but this allows me to trade and go 95. Of g6. Oh, he's got g6, doesn't he? Should have played rook f8 and then he missed it. He had g6, which was actually winning. That being said, I'm still potentially in a lot of trouble here. But I guess I'll try to trade the rooks. This is step one. Because with one set of rooks on the board, it's not as dangerous. I have to go like rook f1. I go knight f3, I guess. Maybe I'm okay already. Thank you so much to Lord Canona for the three months. Is the Balrog a legendary opening? Not really, no. He plays Rook H4. So I guess he has a plan. So if I take and play Knight C4, what's going on? This gets a little bit scary here. I could also play Knight C4, Knight B2, Knight H6. I'm going to go for this. It's probably as wrong, but... Oh, it's definitely wrong, actually. No, it's 100% wrong. What am I even doing? Should have just played rook g8. What? what the heck? Completely insane play by me. H5, knight f3, knight, knight, knight there, rook d8, knight g4. It's ridiculous. 
I gave him this B3 move for no good reason. I guess I'm going to go to A5. Now, now I have to like somehow try to bring my pieces to the center of the board. Like knight g6, rook d2. Try to push p on the queen side if I can. Maybe I actually just go here because I have knight g6 and then takes. Just there. Rook e5, king, king f6 takes. I don't see a way for him to win here. Takes king g8. It's a good pre move because it's the only move. Okay, now I go like. I'm going to have to go back because otherwise he takes and he has rook h7. Might be losing here. Let's go here. I have check. Yeah, I completely bungled this. And he's got no time. There we go, and I tricked him. Oh no, did I mess this up? There we go, now I win the game.